now we have to display first message and its result then second message and the result so for displaying first message as we have written the macro macro is this which message m1 and its length how many bytes you want to display m1 len now it's time to display p count first so we have to move p count which is our result in a register which can be displayed by using display procedure so you know that if you want to display two digits which is the size of your p count that is byte size you have to move this result to bl register which is a 8 bit register so move bl comma p count and call display now display is our procedure which converts contents of bl which are 0 3 into ascii value 30 and 33 after that we have to display the second message this m2 comma m2 l then move again n count in bl and call display so here we are calling display procedure twice after that our program ends here logically it is terminated so we have to write here exit function which is ex comma 1 move evx comma 0 int -A. after int ath we can write down the display procedure although it is written after exit but it is called where the call instruction and its name is we are writing a display procedure here now this display procedure is for two digits so ecx should be two move edi comma disbuff so disbuff's address is initialized to edi now our result is in register bl so you have to rotate register bl by four four will never change move contents of bl to al and that is masking al with 0 fh then compare al with 9 if it is below or equal go to x if it is not then compare it with a if it is below then go to y otherwise add al comma 57h then after addition every addition go to z next addition will be x so add al with 30h if it is between 0 to 9 then add if it is below or equal to 9 then go to x x will say add al with 30h again separate out then y add al with 37h this is in case your number is less than a that is below a which is between capital a to capital f and here we can write z so three add instructions are considered what will be z move current al in edi so save it in a buffer increment that buffer increment the index and use the loop instruction again because we are using ecx so we can say again and where is the again return it is to rotate instruction so this is your display procedure at the end your buffer is ready so display that buffer using same macro that is this macro this buff comma how many elements you want to display two elements so whatever is ecx you have to write it here that is this buff comma two and at the end return so this is the program to execute this program the instruction for execution are nasm f elf 64 whatever is the file name dot asm next instruction is ld hyphen o file name only space file name dot o and last instruction is dot slash file name in this way we have studied the program to find out positive numbers and negative numbers count from the given array